Let me tell you, I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. Curva Space Program 2 is here, and wee, that guy's on a journey. Just like we're about to go on a journey to space. But not just anywhere in space. We're gonna go there. Because, yeah, the moon is cool and all, but it's so little. Aww. And the sun's way over there, big and bright. So we need to build a rocket to get there. So let's start with a little pod here. And, ooh, oh, I can see into it. That was kind of cool. And then we just attach a rocket to it. And then we should be good to go, right? Uh, maybe a nose cone is in order. Because, you know, we're just worried about getting to the sun. No one ever talks about coming back. Our rocket's looking pretty spiffy, so let's launch it. Valentina Kermit is about to have a very good time. So we just do what any great rocket person does and have a countdown in the weird Kerbal speak that I cannot understand. Oh, but all the sounds are so nice. And we have liftoff. Whoa, it's flying pretty straight for a rocket with no direction inputs. And wow, we are just leaving Earth behind us. Well, it's not called Earth, but I'm going to call it Earth. We're above the cloud layer already. Look at this flying straight up. We're already 10,000 meters in the air. Oh, man. We can start to see the curvature of the Earth. This is crazy. How are we here already? We've only been flying for... Where's the flight timer? Uh, It's only been a couple seconds. And look at that. We're already at the outermost layer of the atmosphere. There's the moon and there's the sun it ain't got no oh, gas in and it. uh we're out of fuel a rocket might need a few more parts but we're still <laughs> we're still going up and we ran out of fuel that's crazy oh and we're due to go up for a while look at this this is a flight path and we'll, we'll come down over there but man that rocket has a lot of thrust behind it i can use that so truth be told i'm not too disappointed with this rocket actually but it also needs more parts to it so we can continue on our journey so maybe oh man <laughs> why don't we just get like a gigantic rocket dart just stack that right there uh maybe Maybe not quite like that. We're going to need a decoupler sort of thing after we put an adapter onto it. Yeah, something like that right about here. And the decoupler goes on with the rocket right there. I feel like this is about to be very hard to control. So why don't we get some wings on there? It doesn't have to be big wings, just a couple stabilizers. Something like this. Yeah, now it's like a big old arrow. And the best part is these wings are modular. So we can just make them big like that. Yeah, lawn darts in space. Now this really is looking like a model rocket kit. I'm not too ashamed of it either. But let's rearrange some of these stages. Let's see, you're gonna be first. And then we need another one right here. So we can detach you. So we burn, detach, and burn. Should be good. And whoa. Oh, oh dear. Uh-oh. Uh, um, why were those not attached? Oh, they can't support their own weight. Uh-huh. Okay, we're looking good. It hasn't fallen apart yet. And... Uh, okay, so we do need this rocket to be down with these. So as soon as it decouples, it will, you know, go. So three, two, one, go. Whoa. Okay, that's quite a bit heavier. Didn't get launched right away. But wow, that's a lot of oomph behind there. And it is still flying perfectly straight. Maybe we should tilt it a bit towards the sun. Uh, what direction is the sun at? Is it west? Yep. Whoa. Easy, easy. Just keep tilting that way as much as you can. Just gotta get it lined up. Come on. It looks like there's a little bit of drag on the top part of the rocket. Okay, looking good. We're tilting. It's so fun hearing the rocket get muffled because there's no sound medium to hear it through. Okay, and that's lined up. So I just gotta... No, 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 no. SAS, do not fight me. Okay, yep. Got a little bit of a wiggly nose. Just gotta keep alignment with this and it should whoa okay that rocket's done so it's time to boost uh hello on crashing trajectory no it isn't we're fine and burn it can we even control this part of it i'm not sure we can uh oh okay yes we can just gotta keep alignment with the sun you can't miss it we also don't have sas on anymore which was a little bit weird we're fine with this it's looking really majestic actually and oh man look at those g's climb poor valentina and eh, she signed up for this she knew the risks man i just can't get enough of this view actually it's like something you see in like interstellar or something <laughs> she's so happy she's hitting all the buttons i don't think she knows what half of them do oh okay that's done all right so after that burn is complete where does that put us we're actually leaving the earth's uh, sphere of influence right there and then it'll take us i think we actually might have overburned so once we leave we come around there and then huh we end up back here okay wow and that part will just carry on its own way crash into the ocean that's fine speed up a little more we have exited the moon's orbit actually we were never in the orbit and then once we get here this leaves our sphere of influence i was how am i here on the second rocket wow we have just left earth behind go down to one speed how's this look from the vessel oh man it's way out there already wow <laughs> 
<laughs> I was just there. And it's already so far away. Wow. Space is crazy. That is beautiful out here. So now our vessel is in a permanent orbit around the sun right now. But we haven't reached the sun yet. So I guess because we're still taking a bit of pull from the earth, that's what put us around the sun this way. So what I need to do is preserve my fuel so I can leave earth's influence and still be able to change course because i want to get as close to the sun as possible like you know how mercury is the closest thing to the sun nah that's gonna be me so this stage is good for atmosphere so i'm thinking i could probably get one more stage right in here with some of these rockets that can be much more finely adjusted as soon as we get fuel to do so and then some sort of deep space rocket like hydrogen ah uh, sure that might not be the right fuel tank for it though so let's see is there a hydrogen tank yes that's a pretty big one too I like it. And you can go right there. And then we need a decoupler again, just like so. And yeah, this is a stupidly tall rocket. So we probably need smaller fins on this part of it. But also these aren't going to be in atmosphere that long. So maybe we just need some fine adjustment boosters. Is that a thing? It might not be. Let's just go with fins for now. Just some small ones like this. Maybe not that small. Yeah, I think that's good. So then as long as these stages are in the correct order. Okay, our rocket's looking pretty good right now, I'd say. It is just the tallest thing ever right now. And there's a little bit of wobble in here, but we should be good. Let's just enjoy this next countdown because I feel like this is the rocket. I feel like this is the one. And there, oh, it's so heavy, but wow, I love seeing that like smoke pour out. Okay, liftoff is pretty stable and good. Go away, parts manager, don't need you. It's looking very nice, actually. Who knew that you could transfer lawn darts to space? And I feel like I might wait on the tilt until we're out of this first layer of atmosphere because I feel like that'd make it easier. Starting to see the stars in the morning sky. That's crazy. Okay, we're there. So let's tilt. Oh, that's wiggling. That is wiggling, but oh, easy. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Ah, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Just gotta hold it. Hold it. Uh-huh. It's like swimming through the air. Like, do, do, do. <laughs> okay, that's probably very bad for it. I should stop that. Oh, dear. Okay, this is working a lot better now. Let's tilt it some more. SAS, cooperate with me, if you please. All right, first stage is about to run out of fuel. Let's just line it up. Okay, whoa, that's wiggling. We're lined up pretty good right now. Where does that put us? Okay, we're still way in atmosphere we're gonna come back so let's detach okay and then wait why is there no fuel here no there should be fuel there we go tilt it back towards the sun looking very nice just gotta keep it lined up as best we can in a straight line sas turn back on let's just keep that going the way it do now when do we leave sphere of influence just gotta be watching this that's growing and growing and as soon as we leave it i'm gonna cut the fuel even though it already says zero and Stop. I said stop. Uh, I did. I can't stop the burn. Well, we were almost out of fuel anyway, but okay. That's still very wide, but we have another thruster. As you know, that's how you do things. All right, so we don't need this back part anymore, so let's detach. And that sleeve just fell away faster than this thing. That's still coasting with us. It's a little scary, but at least we still have control of this little bit of rocket. So let's warp right to this point. Ooh. And then we leave the sphere. Okay, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mission control is happy with it. Very cool. So now we need to be careful about how we use this last thruster. And it's way out there again. I can't get over that. But we still need to tilt this back towards the sun. Uh, can I tilt it at all? Maybe I need a little bit of fuel with it. Oh, wait, I was still in time warp. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Now we can tilt. Line up like so. And then as long as we're burning towards the sun, it should slim this out, right? That's what I want. Let's attempt to throw a little bit and burn. Okay, whoa, that's cool. Okay, so what's that doing to the orbit? It's slimming it sort of, but not a whole lot. Let's cut fuel. Oh, I gotta do some thinking here. So right now I'm going a certain speed this way. So if I burn back the way I was coming, then that should slow me down and get me pulled closer to the sun, right? I think so. Let's do that. Okay, yeah, 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 this side's pulling in more. And we are looking very good doing it too. Okay, that still goes through fuel very quickly. I do like what we're doing here, but I still don't have enough to get there. So let's just burn the rest of this and see where it gets us because i'm gonna need to go back okay now we're out and we're kind of in line with what is this gilly what are you you're a moon to eve so then this point which is the smallest point in the orbit is in line with eve's orbit right now we're making pretty good progress i'd say okay so right now our deep space stage is what needs more attention and okay small what is this Whoa! <laughs> look at this yes let's just use this oh my goodness that'd be a nightmare okay it's noon the sun is Literally so straight above our heads, can't even see it because 
I don't know, weird earth physics. And it should just be good to launch. So we don't need to make any adjustments left or right. We just go straight on target. Ideally, nothing bad is gonna happen. We can also just keep the SAS pointed straight up in case it decides to do a little wiggle. But we are back to lawn dart status. I guess you just need to go simple with it. Okay, this is already so much more promising than before. I guess all we needed was a longer rocket in the up direction. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? What's happening with the tilt here? Huh? What's happening with the tilt here? Easy does it, easy does it. Just keep it stable, keep it stable. Da, that's not how you do things. Okay, and then, ready? Fling it. <laughs> Wee. And then, oh man, we need to do some serious correcting here. And some controlled burns. But we're still going up, so we can point it towards that, I think, ideally. And then burn it so it can correct itself. Come on, just fix it, fix it. That's it, yes, yes, this is working. Okay, good, good. And then we'll stop that. So let's go up to the map. Let's see, if we set sun as target and then point our rocket towards target with a very minimal amount of burn. Don't want to use too much fuel. There we go. Nice and gentle with it. Okay, now we just have to burn until we leave Earth influence, however long that may be. Just watching it. We're burning through a lot of fuel still, but we should have enough after we leave Earth. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, and we're out. Ah. Da, 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 da. Okay, and cut the fuel. Okay, we're out. Okay, and we still have a lot of fuel left in the tank. That's good. That's very good. So we'll just warp to here, and it's really starting to slow down. We just got out of orbit. We're out of carbon influence, like by a hair. But now we can work on slimming down this orbit with the fuel we have left. And uh, let's see. Okay, this is the closest point to the orbit. So if we get to here and maneuver to burn retroactively, I hope we have enough fuel for this. We can get down to this much with the fuel we have left. I can work with that. And that maneuver would happen in four days. Man, space time is weird. But at least we can warp toward when that maneuver needs to take place. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do a little spin with it. Uh, and it stopped for whatever reason. Which orbit is this? That's our current orbit. But we still have a lot of warp to go. Okay, seven seconds on the burn. And burn. Okay, and then we're gonna burn like... Oh, dear. This is this. I forgot to set the direction for the burn. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna be here for a minute. Very nice. The orbit is slimming down very nicely. Pulling it past Eve and up. We ran out of fuel for the burn. That's fine, because we can detach that bit and watch it float away calmly. Okay, so we didn't quite get to where we were hoping for with that. Let's see if we just keep burning on this one and cut it for now. Where's our trajectory? It's within Eve's orbit, so now we need to do another burn over here. Burning even more retroactively. We have 2,000 units of fuel, so we can get to here. So if I burn all the fuel that I have, I can get uh oh, I can get to here, which is within Eve's orbit. But if I burn half of it, I can be comfortably spaced between even whatever mercury is moho i can be okay with that so now we just need to get there okay about 30 seconds left to the burn and we're gonna make sure that we're pointed in the correct direction this time very good 10 seconds five seconds burn Alrighty. our orbiting speed is slowing down but that's what we want we're looking very good out here that's slimming down over there gonna be burning like this for another minute just very nice and steady controlled burns three two one burn off. Now, if we were to create another maneuver here, we can get to roughly this kind of orbit. And you know what? I think that'd be a pretty good place to end up. So we just spend quite a bit of time going in that direction. 10 more seconds left on this. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Start the burn. Burn, baby, burn. I don't understand this part of the plan where it says I have no fuel. Clearly, I have fuel, but it's also very much ticking away. But we are having the desired effect that we want. Just gonna let this keep on burning and burning and burning. Done. Okay, no more maneuvers because we have like no more fuel. And let's just uh, burn up the rest of it. And now we're just kind of cruising around the sun right there. Well, we did get to a nice stable orbit around the sun within Venus's orbit. And if we just speed this up, we can watch the ship go round and round and round and round. And the uh, other parts, like there's Kerbin right there, but there's also the bit that we ditched over there. It just goes, wee. And if we zoom in on this, whoa. Valentina's on a whirlwind right now. And I think that's a pretty good spot to end that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this attempt. Maybe we'll get it in the future, but there's a lot of potential with this game. So I can't wait to get back into it. That is if you guys want to see more. So definitely let me know if you do. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Calvin K, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, L.E.B., Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.